Hi, my name is Hans. I'm a volunteer at the Jack Hartloom at the Ontario Science Centre. My background is uh, engineering and information technology and of course a bit of weaving from my wife. Uh, I like to be here at the Jack Hartloom at the Science Centre to interact, engage with the visitors, um, to explain the, the history of information technology I like the challenges of the loom itself and uh, like the fact is we know a lot about the loom but there's also many things that we don't know about the loom yet. There's still a lot to learn so I like this challenge as well. I'm Dorothy and I've uh, volunteered here at the Science Center from almost the beginning of volunteering with the loom and I think we were among the first volunteers at the Science Center. We our hand weavers from a local guild, we really enjoy using the wonderful old loom and learning how it works. And it's also very interesting to meet the people who come to the Science Centre. Um, often people come who have connections with weaving in other countries or relatives who were hand weavers in other times, and we learn things from them. And of course it's great fun to show the people who have never thought about it, how cloth is made, which is why we have the small loom now as well. Hi, my name is Karen and I'm a volunteer at the Rock Shop at the Science Center. I'm a member of the Gem and Mineral Club of Scarborough and several of our members volunteer here. This is a touch table and on it we have examples of all kinds of rocks that would be interesting to our members and visitors. This is a piece of talc from our touch table. It is the softest mineral known to man. It is so soft it can be scraped with a fingernail. And the powder is soft and absorbent. It's talcum powder. With a little bit of perfume, it becomes baby powder. This is a very special fossil. It is from the south end of a dinosaur who was headed north. I get a lot of guesses about what this is, but it was left behind by the dinosaur. It is called a coprolite, and coprolite is a fancy scientific word that means petrified dinosaur poo. It's a great favorite with our younger visitors. Hi, my name is John uh, Victor Alpha 3 Juliet Echo. Uh, one of the volunteers here at the amateur radio station at the Ontario Science Center we are VE3OSC, or as we say, Victor Echo 3 Oscar Sierra Charlie. This is a short wave radio or high frequency radio, and with the right conditions and our big beam antennas, we can talk to uh, people, amateur radio operators around the world. Uh, we can also look at the International Space Station also in low Earth orbit, and in fact, we could, when the astronauts are listening, actually talk to the astronauts. Um, now, it's, not, it's rare that we would ever talk to the astronauts, but it is possible because there is an amateur radio station uh, uh, aboard International Space Station. The only people in the world that use Morse code anymore consistently are amateur radio operators because it's not used professionally anymore. We have a small code practice oscillator on the desk, and many times I get the visitors to come and send me their name in Morse code. 